Good day and welcome to my YouTube channel. In our last lecture, we talked about the auto sum and auto fill command. Today, we are going to talk about how to move and copy data in an Excel worksheet, inserting and deleting rows and columns. Then, okay. I can as well go to changing the weight and height of Excel. All right, let's move on. Maybe I can still add an additional function in the Excel, hiding and unhiding Excel rows and column if time permits. Okay, let's go on. Let's first start. From copying, just copying data in an Excel worksheet. We have a, a template here. If I want to copy the whole data here on another sheet, what I'm going to do is, or let me say, if I want to copy copy this data on a different cell here, what I'm going to do here is to pick the cell then a light state you can, you can see we have a, a short command that you can use in order to make your work faster that is you use control c here in your computer use control c you can see i'm copying it here we are moving to this cell then so copy into this K3, sorry, K4 here. So we are going to press Ctrl V. You can see Ctrl V. So you can see that I can as well copy the same data since I'm I am still having this symbol here i can continue to copy it as much as, as i can you can see as much as I, I can then if you want to remove this what is displaying here you can you can just press your escape button it will it will remove and there yeah, and by doing by doing so the the functions are not being applicable any longer you can see that is very simple so let's talk about how to move an Excel data or data in an Excel so what if I want to move the whole content here I want to move it out how do I go out about it so the short command here is, is you move it automatically out of this row okay. the short command to use here is control x so meaning that it is control x you are moving it out so you are cutting it out from the the row size then let me say i want to put it here so the shortcut formula to use is to put it there is control v can see I have automatically cut it out from this or move it out from this particular row then paste it here so that is how to copy data in the design worksheet and as well to move the data in the design worksheet I have been able to move the whole data on this row down to this place you can see I'm copying 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 until i'm done with what i'm actually interested in then and as well the local data that is available in general paper letter are able to move it as well using a very a short command control x then paste it down here that is so that's to show you how to copy a data and how to move the data so let me clean it oh let me leave it there 
okay the thoughts the third function that I'm going to show you on an Excel worksheet is how do you insert and delete rows and columns in an Excel worksheet? So probably you might be working on on a particular project and you might like it to want to add more row, uh, column here instead of going through the functions available in Excel insert you, you can as well follow the, the very short, short command key yeah okay let's I mean let me assume that on January February March I want to add April right I want to run I want to have May on this on, on this so here okay the short command we are going to apply yes is just put your cursor down to this row there press control plus you can see that i'll be able to add additional column here so thereby giving me a space to add mail data okay. so it's very simple so and i can as well if i want to add an additional data on this row here so you can as well press ctrl p you can see that so i can add maybe additional data maybe let me just put it maybe uh, let me say executive non-executive let me say let me put it that let me say director probably that's only the rule of the director cannot be on that road there so let me just put it there so you can see that i'll be able to add a row an additional row there all right so, um, what if we want to delete a row or a column and do on this so maybe probably you will actually want to delete a, a particular row you are not interested in so what you are going to do is let me use here so let me use or uh, probably let me use here okay if you want to delete all the all this and uh, data on this so let me have the data maybe one sorry one two three four five six seven five six seven okay let me see auto song to song this center okay if i want to delete all the details here so what i'm going to do so i'll just select my column here the shortcut key to use here is you press ctrl minus you can see just press ctrl minus and you are done and as well if i want to delete the the data on this my row there so the shortcut will also use control minus so that's all you, you are done then another one functions i'm going to show you here is changing the width and the height of the cell so i will be able to change the width and the height of the cell here to change the width and the height of the cell here you can use a dragging method here by dragging the cell here you can see the way i'm dragging it you can see so but in other words if you want to make this if you want to make the work to be very maybe for presentation purposes probably you want to make this all the cells right when you are dragging in to have the same rows and column width and height so what you're going to do is you just select the whole and the cell here and align the whole cell you can see that anytime i'm, I'm dragging the cell 
it will automatically drag in the whole highlighted cell. You can see it's automatically dragging and give me the same width to the other cells. The same width, give me the same width with the other cell. You can see that. So it will actually make your work to be more presentable. So if I actually want to follow this same procedure on this row size, I can as well pick on this uh, on the row side there, then you highlight it. Right? So then you can drag, you can pick anywhere on the cell, drag to definitely give it the same height, the same height on the cell. So in, in and in this I'm able to talk about the the moving and the copying on a Z worksheet so uh, inserting and deleting rows and columns changing the weight and the height of the cell okay I think there's another one of I said I'm going to show you the high, well, if you want to hide maybe is a data on this row or you want to hide the data the data on this column how do you go to, how are you going to go about it the way the, the simplest way to go about it is just pick the cell if you want to, okay let me say if you want to hide all the data on this column here just pick the cell here then you right click you see hide oh. you can see that i'll be able to hide the january data so if i want to hide the look okay let me come out, come back to this the row side there if i want to hide this local or let me say let me I want to hide the, all the data in the rest of this management here just come down to this row and row side there then right click then click on hide you can see very simple just try it out very it's very simple so Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.